Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. And here you can find information about online seminars for exam uh, P, FM, LTAM, and IFM uh, that I offer, and um, study manuals for the same exams that I offer. I direct the actuarial program f at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today, for exam FM on financial mathematics. You are given the following with respect to a security. Market value is 1,000. Cash flow at end of year 1 is 500. Cash flow at the end of year 2 is 700. Calculate the modified duration. So you may not immediately assume this and know this, but you're supposed to assume that these are the only cash flows of that security. And here's the solution. Let us write I for the yield to maturity of the security. Then we know that 1000 is equal to 500 over 1 plus I plus 700 divided by 1 plus I squared. And then if we multiply it out by uh, 1 plus I squared, then 1000 times 1 plus I squared minus 500 times 1 plus I minus 700 is equal to 0. Well, we can treat this as a quadratic equation with respect to 1 plus i as the unknown. So 1 plus i is equal to um, 500 plus minus the square root of 500 squared minus 4 times 1,000 times negative 700. And the whole thing divided by 2 times 1,000. And we calculate this, and it's either 1.1232, 1 uh, 1.1232, or negative 0.6232. 1246. Of course, only the positive answer is feasible, so we conclude that I is approximately equal to 12.32146%. And the Macaulay duration of the first cash flow is 1, and the Macaulay duration of the second cash flow is 2. The modified duration of the entire security is the weighted average of modified durations of those two cash flows. You get the modified durations by dividing the Macaulay durations by 1 plus the interest rate, which we just calculated. And so this is going to be equal to 1 over 1,000, which is the price, times um, the market value of the first cash flow is 500 divided by 1 plus the interest rate we just calculated. Um, and that's multiplied by the modified duration of the first cash flow, which is 1 over 1 plus the interest rate, plus uh, the present value of the second cash flow calculated at the yield we just calculated, um, times 2 over the 1 plus the interest rate, which is the modified duration of the second cash flow. And we calculate it all, and uh, it's approximately 1.3842868585, which is answer B. Please remember, this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies, and good luck on the test.